Yeah. You know I have a channel, right? No. You didn't well, know that? I did zero research right now. <laughs> you, 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 you know, my guy was like, gave me the address, and I was like, well, I'm coming right over here. <laughs> well, you get, you, you're getting back on the horse. So, um, you guys, this is this is Jason Miller. Um, Jason's been around. My friends call me Mayhem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if uh, and if you you guys want to bully anybody, he he might end up with a beat down. Nah, but uh, your bullies yeah. who beat him up. <laughs> Wait, that that one show? Yeah, this is Jason Mayhem Miller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you said Mayhem. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Now I'm yeah. into the bully thing. See, you guys have seen I remember him, that though. shit. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm old enough. I'm 27. So I, I, I met Jason when he he I, again. I think you were out on the East Coast first, but then he was training with Mark Lehman in Vegas, oh, and so I would go out there and train with uh, the the uh, Cobra Kai, and uh, I trained uh, with um, what was it? I had a couple matches: Simgo, Sonny O'Hara, uh, you know, obviously Jeff Glover, and so. You know, he was he was doing a lot of big things, yeah, not just MMA, but he was also big things in grappling too. And you know, that was a fun era of grappling back then. It was. Yeah, yeah. it was. Someone need to bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> and then and Mark, dude, Mark was the loudest dude at every tournament. I don't think so. <laughs> I got him covered now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you were on Cobra Kai. You knew exactly what we were gonna do back yeah. then. Yeah. Dars! Dars! Or did you? <laughs> <laughs> Might have been a code. You don't know. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. But uh, those guys were uh, those guys were wrecking people at tournaments and, and Jason was kind of a part of that crew. So it, it was kind of a fun time. Alright, let's let, fine. Fine! Let's do a let's do a Mars. Let's do a Dars. Here. It, so Let's get this Anthony guy. Guys, just real start, because I know you guys haven't done a lot of this. Just roll this guy on his side. Yeah, perfect. And just super simple. When you start out, like I'm just, I'm like right here in side control. I have my left foot up. I'm just gonna bring my hand underneath and then lock right here. Okay? So at the time, like people were doing the Dars and, um, or some, the, the Brazilians and all those guys would say, Nogi, uh, that's a Bravo choke. Just, you're just doing it, Nogi. Because in the gi, you would have like the material and stuff, but in, in no gi, we're going right here, a little Joe DRC choke here. Um, and then the Mars variation, guys would start to get up. So you get up on your knees. And then the Cobra Kai guys, I might have to bring Jason out here to show you, but they would start rolling over to their back right here and catching it here. So then the position, yeah, just go to your knees. Then they'd be out here in the, in the stall position and just feeding it in and just walking it up. And again, layman would be screaming it. And then I'd even hear, I'd hear Jason scream it too. Boom. And then, so you end up with this drill holding the head, shooting it. See that? Shooting the Morse variation of the Doris right there. And then walk up and squeeze. Man, if you could hook a leg, hook a leg, whatever you can get. And you guys get this super deep. Because the guys that get the dars like this, it's too shallow. You're probably not gonna finish anybody like this. You know, and I've been in this position before where I, you know, probably wasted a little too much energy. You know, you kind of think you can get the guy, but you waste a little too much energy right here. So commit a little bit to your back and you walk right into him and catch that position. Jason, yeah, you got anything to say? Yeah. Uh -huh. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Coach Brian here, and I'm here to tell you about Suplez. Guys, the best dummies in the world for training. You want to get good at throws like Jesse? You need a Suplez speed dummy. You gotta get one for yourself. Go to petersongrapplers.com and get your own speed dummy. Jason, yeah, you got anything to say? Yeah, a hundred thousand things. <laughs> he's like, uh, yeah, he's an old school favorite move, yeah. Um, what? 
I like how he hits it with this jump into it. Like, it's got to be precise. Like, I noticed that when you, when you, when you get into it like this, like, uh, this is a risky business right here. You know what I mean? It's, uh, if you don't get that one here, then the percentages go down. Because if I get like this, this guy's neck yeah. is tougher right here. I'm not cutting off the carotid, right? But also, if you, if you fuck it up and fall here, yeah, this guy, boom. Out. Yeah. You're you got, in a. You gotta be smart. You went from a great situation for a headlock to like, oh, I'm on my back now. You know, like, oh, I messed up. So, you, so there's a good way to keep him on all fours by kind of going from front head and really uh, pushing into him this way. So that he'll give you a push back. Yeah. Then, then you rip into it. Yeah, that's a because good. if you're if he's all based out, like based out for me, he he can make his neck strong yeah. right here. You know what I mean? He's got his he's got his hand connected to the ground, and he can like really tough guy against me. You know, but if he's his, his this that arm is light. It's like, you see how I even stopped? I, I grabbed here for a second to make sure. Because when I get to this point, it's point of no return. And all he has to do is, uh, you know, if I commit to it, is pop up. Pop that up. And then get that arm across. He jams, you know, now he's on top. Like, oh, I messed up now. But if I'm here floating, floating, and then, with this one up off the ground, now I can commit. Now I can, I don't know what variation you call that. <laughs> Mayhem variation, you know? <laughs> but you the variant, you know? Uh, it, it, it's a little surfing game from the top there where if you're gonna hit that move. I could talk about that darts like 7,000 ways, you know? Yeah. Cause it's, a, it's very versatile. The other, like another way I get to it is uh, even from the top position, like uh, any time, because MMA, you know, you play like this. So, but even in the grappling situation, getting this and 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 this is like all those are setups to a dart. Because once this leg is free, I can disconnect his arm and his neck, you know? I can connect these two bits right here. But it's a matter of, like, when I can get this free, you know? And another one is, oh, I'm going to let this guy, yeah, build up. Oh, great. Oh, he's built up now. I can, like, wear this, his arm out. And as soon as this one comes free, we, you know, I guess it's all about saying hello to the back of his ear, you know, like, hey, put your hand right. Once you beat that, his deltoid and his neck is, what is the impromptu lesson, man? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, let's break off and let's try it a couple times. We'll go around, I'm gonna go around and help you. Okay, ready? Go. All right, guys, um, this is kind of unexpected, but uh, Jason Mayhem Miller, just kind of jumped in right now. Uh, he just showed up, totally like not planned at all. Anyway, thought it was kind of cool. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Teach me grappling. See you guys next time with more great stuff.